This is the ROH Supercard of Honor 2023 full show results video, and the show started with a match between Jeff Cobb versus Tracy Williams, and the result of this match was Jeff Cobb defeated Tracy Williams by pinfall after hitting the Tour of the Islands finishing move. Then he and Rick Aboni and Caprice Coleman welcome the third man in their booth tonight, the former ROH world champ Nigel McGuinness. The next match happened between Kanesuk Takashita vs Willie Mack, and the result of this match was Kanesuk Takashita defeated Willie Mack via pinfall after hitting a running knee. The next match happened between Willow Nightingale vs Miranda Alize, and the result of this match was Willow Nightingale defeated Miranda Alize via pinfall with a powerbomb. The next match happened between Stu Grayson vs Slim J, and the result of this match was Stu Grayson defeated Slim J via pinfall with the Nightfall Backbreaker after Evil Uno finally dealt with Smart Mark Sterling. After the match, Dutch and Vincent of the Righteous, who at one point had been rumored to be WWE bound to work with Bray Wyatt, return, and they strut onto the stage while the Dark Order boys look on from the ring. The next match happened between Iho Del Vikingo vs Commander for the AAA Mega Championship, and the result of this match was Iho Del Vikingo defeated Commander via pinfall after hitting a 630 cent and finishing move to retain the AAA Mega Championship. The two men adhered to the code of honor and hugged it out after the bell. Then we saw the Ring of Honor six-man championship match between the Embassy vs Metalik, Blake Christian, and AR Fox, and the result of this match was Brian Cage, Kown, and Toa Iona defeated Metalik, Blake Christian, and AR Fox by pinfall when Cage hit Drill Claw on Metalik and pinned him, and retained the six-man titles. The next match happened between Athena vs Yuka Sakazaki, and the result of this match was Athena defeated Yuka Sakazaki via pinfall after hitting the O-Face to retain the ROH Women's World Championship. The next match happened between Samoa Joe vs Mark Briscoe for the Ring of Honor World Television Championship, and the result of this match was Samoa Joe defeated Mark Briscoe via referee stoppage to retain the ROH World Television title. The next match happened between Hiroshi Tanahashi vs Daniel Garcia, and the result of this match was Hiroshi Tanahashi defeated Daniel Garcia by pinfall after hitting the high fly flow. Then we saw the reach for the Skyladder match between Lucha Brothers vs Rush and Realistico vs The Kingdom vs Top Flight vs Aussie Open for the ROH World Tag Team Championship, and the result of this match was Lucha Brothers defeated Rush and Realistico, The Kingdom, Top Flight and Aussie Open in the reach for the Skyladder match to win the ROH World Tag Team Championship. Mark Briscoe and FTR were out to share a moment in honor of Jay and celebrate with the new champs. The Kingdom joined them as the announced team reminded us they and Dem Boys held down the final days of the Sinclair era. The next match happened between Katsuyori Shibata vs Wheeler Yuta for the Ring of Honor Pure Championship, and the result of this match was Katsuyori Shibata defeated Wheeler Yuta via pinfall to become the new ROH Pure Champion. Yuta was accompanied to the stage by his Blackpool Combat Club teammate John Moxley, but Mox returned to the back after he met the judges Christopher Daniels, Madison Rain, and Pat Buck. In the main event of the show, we saw a match between Claudio Castagnoli vs Eddie Kingston for the ROH World Championship, and the result of this match was Claudio Castagnoli defeated Eddie Kingston by pinfall to retain the Ring of Honor World Championship. Post-match, Yuta came out to celebrate with the champ and they prepared to attack Kingston, but Shibata came out to stand by the Mad King's side. 